what's up YouTube? We got a Beaster Derek here, and today I have a really easy um, beginner card trick for you guys. Um, one of my personal favorites. Uh, really nice uh, trick. I really like these cards. These are stud playing cards. Um, reprints, obviously. Um, I don't know. They're nice. You can get them at like Walgreens. I didn't get these at Walgreens. I got them at my variety box, but I ordered some more of them. So, yeah. Sadly, they had blue. Blue was out of stock. I ordered from Mayday. Um, and just like a website, by the way, by the way. I just did. Alright, let's get just started with the trick. Um, so, the spectator can shuffle the cards. I've been shuffling these while I was talking. To get that out of the way. So, let's get started here. Um, spectator can select any card. Say, I take this one. I'm actually not looking at this, but you can see. Okay, so, take their card. I'll just place it right on top of the deck. And um, we'll give the cards a quick cut, or they can give the cards a quick cut, and we'll keep cutting the cards. You can see I am cutting these at different places. I'm not doing any false cuts here. Um, you know, just putting that out there. But trying one-handed revolution. That was a fail. But okay, so um, this part, please don't get mad at me for doing this um, because it is kind of part of the trick, and you'll see in the tutorial why I do do this. But um. Yeah, so I'm going to find your card, but I'm going to do this with the help of the two jacks, or the two red jacks. So, what I'm going to be doing, actually, is just, I'm, I'm just pulling out the jacks, but it, you'll see, it's really just camera angle issues um, that I need to do it this way. Uh, where is the other jack? I, clearly, I have one. Um, you, you'll see, you'll see. So, here we go, I've got the other... Red Jack. Now, these Jacks are going to find your card, but in order to do this, they're going to need a freshly shuffled Jack. So I'm just going to give these a quick, random, whatever mix here. Um, just pull out chunks here and throw them on top. Alright, that's good enough for now. Uh, well, you know, I'll give them a quick riffle shuffle too. Okay. okay. I'm not going to bother bridging because I don't really feel like. Okay, so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these jacks, I'm going to place one on the bottom and one on the top, you could see, and this one's sticking out so you could see him at all times, and they're going to find a locating, uh, find your card with a simple toss of my hand, so, here we go, three, two, I got one card, and let's see what that card is, it is indeed your card, I hope, the jack of spades. Alright, so how you do this trick is really simple, and, um, the reason why I was taking it off camera, actually, no, we'll get to it in the tutorial. So, first off, um, what you're going to do is you can obviously have the spectator shuffle the cards any way they like. And then what you're going to do is you're going to, you know, you could, what I, I didn't do this in the video, but you're going to spread out the cards, or you can do this, and you're going to, either way, you're going to need to look at the bottom card and memorize that card. So in this case, it's the Two of Hearts. You know what? I'm going to make it the Ace of Spades. So don't forget. Or if you don't, you know, you want to just shuffle the cards yourself or something, you could make the Ace of Spades so you don't forget it. Um, so, yes. So what they're going to do is they can select any card. It's a free choice. So they have their card. In this case, it's the Nine of Diamonds. So they place it on top of the deck and they cut the cards. Now what this is going to do is there, it's going to take the Ace of Spades, and the card right after that is always going to be their card. Obviously, unless they riffle shuffle, but, you know, they're not going to do that. So, you just tell them, you know, you know, right, just cut the cards, maybe like a few more times. So they could just cut the cards a couple times. That's good enough. Um, so, now what's happening, um, this is the reason that I had to do this behind camera. So basically, you know, quick recap before we do this. Basically, you memorize the bottom card after they shuffle the deck and they picked a card and you cut the card so now where we're at is here you're going to oh, you're going to basically what you're going to be doing is the reason I couldn't do it behind camera is because what you're doing is when you're getting the two jacks you can hold the cards upright like this to, to you you know just spread them out like this as you can see but obviously it would be turned up like this you're going to you know you can out jog a jack but go through the cards and find your key card so in our case it was the Ace of Spades, and you're just going to just take the cards like this and move it to the top. That's all you need to do. So then what happens is 
you know, their card is at the top, and you have an out jogged jack, and... I don't know where the other jack is. Another out jogged jack. So now you have their card at the top, at the top, and two out jogged jacks. Now, you can also, um, move the card to the bottom, just by, you know, obviously if it's in the deck, you just put it over here, and move this to the top. You can do whatever you want. Um, but I like to make it to the top because then what I could do is shuffle the cards and do a, um, a force shuffle and just force the card to the bottom of the deck like so. And you just do that. You hold the cards like you would just doing a regular overhand shuffle. And you peel off the first card and then throw the cards on, the rest of the cards on top. That was a pretty bad one. But, um, yeah. So that's pretty much all you're doing. You're just peeling it and you're doing it fast so it kind of you, know, you don't see it, and then also what I did was I put my fingers back here and held. I'll just put this over. Held this back here, pulled out the middle section, holding their card at the bottom, and threw the rest on top. So it kind of gave the illusion that I was, you know, doing what I. Yeah. So now what you're going to do that you have their card on the bottom in whatever way you got there. You're just going to place both jacks on top, peel one off to the bottom, and make it seem like you're giving, you know, doing them a favor by leaving the jack out the entire time. But really what that's allowing you to do is, when you hold the cards like this, you could catch onto the, you can hold onto the jack and their card. So when you do the tossing motion, while holding onto with all four fingers, thumb on top, all four fingers down here, holding onto the jack and their card, tossing the cards, you're going to hold onto both of these cards and the top card. Um, it takes a little practice to get this move down, um, just make sure, you know, you have, you know, if it's the jack of hearts, make sure it's pretty much the first heart or diamond is cut down the middle more or less and when you toss the card just give it a nice flick of the wrist and that should get their card out and um, yeah so it takes a little practice to get that move but it's pretty you know a very easy trick a very easy trick and yeah it's more or less it. any questions um, feel free to comment or PM me and I will be glad to ask um, I mean answer and yeah that's pretty much it I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this trick. It's a pretty easy one. It's a really cool one to perform. And, um, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.